Hey everybody, Bob here from W2CYK from RFinder. Uh, we're uh, showing today the new APRS features of RFinder. And uh, this is on Android. Uh, the iPhone version should be coming out shortly, end of June, early July. And we're trying to get that out as quickly as possible. Our uh, iOS programmer, Katie2DMH, Nick, is working feverishly at getting this stuff out the door. And, um, and uh, as well as the uh, Echolink capabilities, we're just waiting on something for, uh, from, uh, uh, from Jonathan K uh, K1RFT for the uh, Echolink side. But um, today I'm showing you APRS. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go into the repeater list. And you can see that we got the repeater list up. And we're in central Long Island. You can see that I'm actually checked into two machines, N2NFI and N2FXE. And if I go and look at my handy dandy APRS map, it doesn't matter. You can do this in, a, in an app, an APRS map uh, app, or on Android or iPhone. But you can see now who is checked into a machine. So in this case, B operator Bob is checked into N2NFXE uh, on 443900 and the PL and the and the shift, etc. And also checked into N2NFI with its frequency and PL and shift. And he checked in via R Finder. So this extends the social features that we already created, where you can see in the list who's checked into what. And what that does is it lets you um, actually, um, uh, it lets you, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check into another machine so you can see how it's done. And now we're checked into OQI. And um, uh, what this does is it lets you, um, uh, collaborate with people and show them where you are checked into what repeaters you're monitoring so that they can find you. So this will make it easier for people to find active machines um, in the future once once lots of people start using this. And um, also people that aren't using RFinder will be able to look on an APRS map and actually see uh, who's checked into machines also. So we're trying to uh, include people that are not using our uh, RFinder also as much as possible. So here we have now, uh, I am in fact checked into OQI and its frequency and into FXE, into NFI, et cetera, with all their parameters. So now it's easy to find people on uh, VHF, UHF uh, using repeaters, using RFinder. Very easy to do. Um, something that might be useful is a uh, net control might want to know what frequency, uh, what repeaters people are on, where they're located. And uh, by using this feature, uh, we can let the net control know where, where we are. Okay, so that's kind of cool too. So I'm on the main screen of our finder now. I'm going to show you how this is all configured. If I click Menu and I click Application Settings, and you can see that we're now into the Application Settings. And here's our Social Settings. We have uh, Refresh Frequency. I have it set to 2 minutes. You have a variety of choices for that. Uh, the Check-in Timeout. Um, I have it set to two hours, off the map after two hours automatically, my name, uh, so that the text can know uh, who I am on the map, and uh, APRS update frequency, if I'm moving I might set it down to two minutes, if I'm stationary I might set it up much higher than that, or if I have a uh, radio in my kitchen, I might set it for a year, there's an option for that also. And what SSID I'm using, um, and um, am I using the device uh, location settings to get my, my, my fix? So that's how you configure it. Very, very simple to do. And now you can um, check in, check out of machines, and you don't actually have to have APRS equipment to do it. Just do it right inside of the RFinder client. So that's about it on uh, APRS. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And 73s, thank you all for your support and keep your suggestions coming.